Okay. Welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome to Girl Scout, uh, our first virtual Girl Scout yoga class. My name is Ashley and I'll be the one teaching your class today. Um, and not only do I work for the Girl Scouts, I am also a yoga instructor instructor with a company called Buddha Belly Kids Yoga. So some of you um, here today um, might be here because you know about Buddha Belly. Um, so I teach classes in Chicago and I also live in Oak Park. So if anyone's here from Oak Park, hi there. And um, I, teach, I teach classes um, in Oak Park as well. So um, today, you're, um, if you are a Girl Scout junior, you could be working on your Staying Fit badge. This will help you to earn that Staying Fit badge. But anyone can be here today. You don't have to be a Girl Scout junior. Um, moms and dads, you can also join in our yoga class if you want to. Um, but this is uh, open to anyone to be able to do this class today. Just a couple of notes um, about the system that you're on. Um, so everyone is muted and um, your videos are actually there turned on so other people might be able to see you. This is going to Facebook Live, um, which means if you don't want your video to show on Facebook, you can turn off that video camera piece of it. It's not a requirement to have your video on, but everyone will be muted. We won't um, allow you to unmute, but if you have any questions, there's something going on with your computer, you stop hearing me, there's some sort of issue, there is a chat box that you can go into and uh, type in your questions there. There are a couple of, um, of my trusty sidekicks and um, co-hosts that will be able to um, help answer your questions in the chat box. Annie's there in, on um, Zoom, and if you're on Facebook, uh, my colleague uh, Megan will be able to help you if you have any questions or issues there. So. Um, one um, piece I want to just uh, let you know is before we begin, if you either have a yoga mat or some sort of towel or some open space, you want to have some um, space to be able to move your body around for this class. So make sure that you've got something set up. If you're there with someone else, you want to give yourself a little bit of room next um, to the person that you're there with. Okay, are we ready to get started? Give me a thumbs up if you can see me. You ready? Okay, awesome Girl Scouts, let's go. We're gonna start seated in a comfortable seat. So find yourself um, comfortably seated on your yoga mat. That could look like all sorts of different things. Maybe you've got crossed legs, maybe you wanna do butterfly pose, your choice. You can decide how you would like to sit so that you're comfortable. We'll put your hands can either be on your um, lap, they can be in on your legs, they can be palms up or palms down. Okay, so yoga is a very um, old sort of practice. Can you believe that yoga has been around for 5,000 years? Yoga started in India and um, has been, and has all sorts of different types of ways that people do yoga now that we um, have it brought over here to the Western world. Um, but yeah, it's 5,000 years old, which is really great. Um, yoga is something that um, is really great, not only for your body, but if you're feeling stressed out, it can help you to feel less stressed. If you're not feeling great, there's you know, lots of ways to be able to help yourself feel less anxious or to use your breath to be able to help you feel better. Um, they also say that yoga helps your spirit. Um, so that's always a really great thing to be able to help yourself with as well. Okay, so here we are in this comfortable seat. Decide where you'd like to put your hands. And then we're all going to act like we have floating heads, like we've got a balloon on top of our head, kind of move it around, get tall with your spine. Your balloon string is your neck and you're kind of moving that around so you can get tall. Okay, we're gonna do a few shoulder rolls. You can move your shoulders around, both forward and back. All right, very nice. So we're all gonna sit tall. You can close your eyes here. And in yoga, one important piece of yoga is your breath. So we're all gonna close our eyes and pay attention to our breath. How does your breath come into your body? How does your breath leave your body? What's happening to your body when you breathe in and out? See if you can calm your breath down. If you're noticing you're breathing really quickly, can you have slower breaths? And 
in, in yoga, one important piece that we usually do with breathing is we try and breathe in and out through our nose. So can you close your mouth and breathe in through your nose, deep breath in, feel your belly rising. And on your exhale, out through your nose. And you take a couple rounds just like this, breathing in through your nose, letting your belly rise. And on your exhale, feel your belly going down. Let's do two more rounds just like this, breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. Let's go one more time, in through your nose and out through your nose. Now, if you can, keep your eyes closed. And here we're going to picture some things that make you happy. Maybe you really like kittens, or maybe you like dogs. Can you think of things that make you happy? Maybe places you want to go when you actually get to leave your house. So is it, do you really want to go to the beach? Do you want to go to the playground? What are some things that make you happy? You have a picture in your mind of those things that make you happy. Continue that nice deep breath that we started with. I'll tell you one of the things that I'm thinking about, and some of you, if you know me very well, that you would be surprised. Uh, one of the things that makes me the most happy is my dog, Bruno. I have him downstairs right now, so he doesn't bother us in this video. But Bruno is definitely something that makes me happy. So I can think about him right now. I like going to the beach. Girl Scouts makes me happy. Doing yoga makes me happy. Hopefully this, those wonderful things put a smile on your face. When you're ready, you can open up your eyes. We're gonna to start to do some spine stretches here. So on your inhale, which is when you breathe in through your nose, you're gonna sweep your arms overhead. And on your exhale, we're gonna do a twist. So you can twist in one direction. And then on your inhale, when you breathe in, you'll sweep your arms back overhead. And then when you exhale or you breathe out, you're gonna twist the other direction. Let's do that a few more times. Your inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, twist one way. Inhale, bring your arms back up. And exhale, twist the other way. Great. Inhale, bring your arms overhead. And then on your exhale, you're going to place your hands on your knees. So your right hand comes to your right knee and your left hand comes to your left knee. We're going to do something called seated cat to cow. So on your inhale, you're going to open up your chest, look up at the ceiling. And then on your exhale, big round in your back and you look down at your feet. Let's go for a few more rounds. Inhale, open up your chest, get nice and wide. Open that up. And then exhale, round your back, look down. One more time. Inhale, open up your chest, big shoulders. And exhale, rounding forward. Great, let's come back up to sitting tall. We'll all bring our right hand over to the right side, and then our left arm's gonna come overhead. Sometimes I'm gonna do the opposite of you, but it's okay. If you go a different way than I'm going, as long as you do both sides, it's okay. Great, let's go to the other side. So put your other hand down and other arm will come overhead. Great, let's come back up. Oh, look at that. I see a few, I can see only a few of your cameras and you look cute. Some of you were making a heart right then. Okay, bring your hands back to your knees and we're gonna go for some circles here. So you can decide what direction you wanna go. Make some big circles with your spine, going forward and all the way back. You can decide how big you wanna make those circles. And then switch directions. You'll go the other way so that you can get both of your circles in. A cat. A 
Awesome, very nice. Now we're gonna to come to table pose. And table pose looks like this. You'll come to your hands and your knees. You're looking for your wrists to be below your shoulders and your knees will come below your hips. Right now in table pose, you can tell why it's called table because you could put something on top of you like a table you eat your breakfast, yeah? And then now we're in table pose, we look to add in some movement here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wiggle it out. So you're just gonna move yourself around in all different directions. You can make circles, you can move your head around. It just look like an inchworm. You can do whatever feels good to you, but just kind of shake it up. Get yourself in there, move around. Yeah, you can make some big rounding your back, whatever that looks like for you. Just kind of get some movement in there. Get your spine moving. All right, awesome. Now we're going to come back to a neutral spine. So that means you're looking straight down at your mat, back to that table pose where we could put something on top of our back. All right, we did seated cat cow before. Let's turn this into table cat cow. So on your inhale, your belly is going to come down to the floor and you're going to look up. This is called cow pose. You can imagine sort of a, um, a cow like this, right? Think about their udders. So maybe moo, right here we are in cow pose. We're gonna turn it into cat pose by rounding your back, looking like a Halloween cat. So if we're here with a Halloween cat, you can might be able to say meow. And we'll go back to cow pose with your belly down, looking up. And then we'll go to Halloween cat pose. Nice round in your back. You're looking between your knees. Let's do that one more time. We'll bring our belly down, look up. And then we'll round our back, look between your knees. Okay, very nice. If we come back to table pose with our neutral spine, we're going to come to something called gate pose, and you'll be able to see why this is gate pose here. So if I keep my right hand down and my right knee down, I'm gonna bring that left leg back behind me and then my left arm up. This is a cool balance pose. We're balancing on our right knee, our right hand. Our left arm is up. Are you ready for a challenge? Can you lift your left leg up too? Think about a gate, right? Like if you're at a fence and you want to get in, it kind of looks like a gate. Okay, very nice. Good balancing pose here. Set that left foot down and put your left hand down. Now we'll go to the second side. We're going to be on our left hand and our left knee. Bring that right leg out. Maybe your right foot's touching the floor. Lift your right arm up. Maybe here in this gate pose, can you lift up that right foot? Balancing, very nice. Okay. Very good, nice job ladies. Okay, we're gonna come now back to, we'll come back down and we're gonna come to child's pose. So you're gonna bring your big toes together. They're gonna be touching here and then your knees are gonna be wide. So you can see here, my knees are as wide as my mat. And I'm gonna sit down with my hips down at my heels and then we'll walk our hands out. We're gonna bring our forehead down to the mat. This is called child's pose. Your forehead can stay down on the mat. I'm just gonna lift mine up so that you can hear me a little bit better. But your forehead will be down on the mat and arms will be out straight in front of you. You can continue to breathe here. Letting your belly come down toward your mat or toward the floor. It's okay if it doesn't touch it. You don't really need it to, but you are looking for your forehead to relax down. So can you have your forehead maybe touching the mat? Remember that deep breath we started class with? Can you come to your breath? Inhales, breathing in through your nose, and exhales, breathing out through your nose. You might be able to feel your belly on the inside of your thighs, maybe on top of your thighs. Okay, very 
nice. Let's come back up to table pose when you're ready with your shoulders underneath on top of your wrists. So wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And then from table pose, we're going to tuck our toes under, lift our knees up, and push our hips back for downward facing dog. I'm going to show you this from this side too so that you can see it. So my, it looks like I'm a V, an upside down V with my hips up toward the ceiling. And here you can bend your knees, kind of wiggle it out in downward facing dog. Maybe shake your head around, move it here. All right, that looks great. Now from downward facing dog, we're gonna walk our hands back, back to our feet. And then let's roll all the way up to standing. Very nice. I'm just going to step forward so you can see me here. And we're going to do something called a half sun salutation. So if you don't know the word salutation, is like the word to salute or to say hello. Yeah, so to, to do a, salute, a sun salutation, you are saluting the sun. So we're going to do a half sun salutation, acting like we're moving through jelly. So we don't want to go super fast, but we're going to act super slow and act as if we've got jelly surrounding us and we're trying to move through jelly for this yoga pose. All right, take a peek down at your feet. Give a little space in there and then stand up really tall. And then here you're going to bring your hands to heart center. This is called prayer pose. This is prayer style position with your hands. Okay. So if you're standing close to someone, give yourself a little space because we're going to move our arms out here. And then we're going to, on your next inhale breath, so breathing in, you're going to sweep your arms overhead. On your exhale, you're going to fold at your hips and bring your hands down toward your mat. And then here we'll bring our hands to our shins. We're coming halfway up. So our shins are right below our knees. We're looking straight down at this mat as if we're kind of like making um, half of a box pose here. We're like half a box, half of a square. This is called monkey pose. So I'm sure some of you at home could make some good monkey noises. And then here we're gonna let the crown of our head, that's the top of our head, come down toward the mat again. And then here we'll sweep our arms up, remember the jelly. And then bring your hands back toward your heart center. Prayer pose. Let's do that two more times. Breathe in, sweep your arms overhead. On your exhale or when you breathe out, bend at your waist. Place your hands on your shins. Remember monkey pose, halfway up. On your exhale, release the top of your head, the crown of your head toward the mat. And then sweep your arms up, stand all, all the way up. And here we'll bring our hands to heart center. One more time. Here we go. On your inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, nice big circle. And exhale, fold forward. Place your hands on your shins. We'll come up to monkey pose. And then let the top of your head come back toward the floor. Here we'll sweep our arms up, standing all the way up, nice big circle. And then hands will come to heart center. Very nice. Usually in yoga, we take our socks off because we're going to step back in just a moment here. So if you've got your socks on and you feel like you're a little bit slippery, you can take your socks off. You see, I did that here too. This just helps me so I don't slip around. Your choice though. Okay, here we go. Bring your hands to your heart center, and we're going to add on to that half sun salutation. We're going to do a full sun salutation. Here we go. Sweep your arms up overhead. Nice big circle. And then you're going to fold at your hips. And then here we'll come halfway at monkey pose. And this time we're going to change it up. Set your hands in front of your feet and step back to plank pose or top of a push up. So if you're in the top of a push-up, you can put your knees down if you want, or your knees can stay up off the mat. And then here, let's lower down all the way to our belly. Our hands are underneath our shoulders here. 
No chicken wings here, so no elbows up to the side. Keep those really close to your ribs. And then here we're gonna come to cobra pose. So that's our head up and our belly up. Maybe you've got a good snake noise here. All right, I'm gonna come back down. And then here we're gonna push back to table pose. We know this one already. Tuck your toes, do you remember? Downward facing dog, that upside down V. Push your hips back. Then from downward facing dog, you're gonna step or hop yourself to the front of your mat. We'll come to monkey pose. Let the crown of your head come back down. And then sweep your arms up, stand all the way up. And then bring your hands to heart center. Let's do that one more time. We'll do that full sun salutation another time. Here we go, sweep your arms up. Exhale, fold at your hips. Come halfway up for monkey pose. Here we go, hands back next to your feet. We're gonna step back to plank pose. This looks like the top of a push-up. And then come all the way down your belly. Keep your elbows back, hands underneath your shoulders. We'll come to cobra pose with head up and chest up. And then from here, let's come to table pose. And then down dog, that upside down V. Here we go, step your feet forward. Come to monkey pose, nice flat back. Then release the crown of your head down toward the mat. And sweep your arms up, stand all the way up. Bring your hands to your heart. Very nice, yogis. I want you to close your eyes here. Come back to your breath. We'll take just a couple of rounds of breath so that you can make sure that you um, are feeling good and ready to move on to the next step. Okay, are we ready? Ready to go? We are headed on a vacation. Do you wanna know where we're going in yoga today? We are going to the beach. Do you all wanna come with me to the beach? Yeah, sounds great, right? So we are headed to the beach today. We're gonna go to the ocean. Maybe some of you like the beach like at Lake Michigan or something, but we are going to go to the beach. You can decide if that's the ocean or the lake. Maybe you like to go to the beach near a river. Okay, so if you'll all join me, the first thing we need to do when we're at the beach is we need to put on some suntan lotion. So get out your suntan lotion. Get it on your hands. Spread it around here, and then here we go. Get on that suntan lotion. We're gonna give ourselves a nice little massage, putting on our suntan lotion. Don't forget your face. On my nose. Don't forget my ears. I always bring my ears because I forget about putting suntan lotion on my ears. Silly me. Yep, great, I got my face. I got my shoulders yet. All right, I got my suntan lotion on. What do you think we should have for a drink when we're at the beach? How about some lemonade? Anyone like lemonade? I do, yeah, I love fresh squeezed lemonade. My grandma makes the best. All right, so when we make our lemonade, we need to shake it up. So pretend that you've got your glass, pretend that you've got your pitcher, and we're gonna shake their lemonade into our glass. We gotta shake it up, shake, 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 shake. And I don't think it's working with just my arms. Maybe I need to shake out my legs. Think that will help me make this lemonade? Ooh, maybe I gotta shake out my shoulders. I'm gonna shake this out. Hmm, all right, ready to pour my lemonade in my glass. Hmm, I taste it and it's not very cold. What do you think I need next? Ice cubes? Great, we're gonna do make an ice cube here. So I'm gonna show you um, without a wall, but if you have a wall, you can use it. So if we're gonna do make an ice cube, I'm gonna make a half ice cube. And so I'm gonna put my arms out here and look, I've got a half of an ice cube. Do you see my half of a square here? If you have someone with, me, with you, you could go hand to hand and make half of an ice cube. You could make a full ice cube. You could go over to a wall. You could make an ice cube here at the wall. Okay, very nice. Those are some nice looking ice cubes. Very good. Okay, so we've got our suntan lotion on. 
We've made some lemonade with some ice cubes. I think we're ready to go into the water. Let's go surfing. We're gonna do a pose called Warrior Two Pose. We'll call it surfing pose today. So everyone bring one of your feet forward. Your toes are gonna to face toward the front of your mat. And then you're gonna step the other foot back. So you've got some space in between your legs. Your front toes are facing forward. Your back toes are facing the opposite direction. So you're kind of making an L with your feet. Yeah, you've got a little space in between your legs. So if you see me from this side, you'll see I've got a little space in here. And then put a bend in that front knee. This is warrior two pose, but we're turning this into surfing pose. So bring your arms out to a T here. And then can you ride the wave? You can pretend like you're doing some surfing here. Add a little movement into this. Yeah, good. You can go forward and back with that knee, but we're going on a surfing ride. All right, those are some nice looking surfers. Now let's go to the other side. So you're gonna turn your toes and then we'll go the other toes out. So here we are, we've got our other toes facing forward, our other toes facing toward this side. Put a bend in those, those, that other knee and arms are gonna come out to a T. Let's go for, a, let's go for some surfing here on your other side. This is called warrior two pose in yoga. We'll call it surfing pose here in our um, beach themed yoga class. Those are some nice looking surfers. All right, very nice. Let's turn our toes here. And now we are going to step our feet together. We're gonna to do something called boat pose. We're already out in the water. Let's get on a boat. All right, so come down to sitting on your mat. And then here you are sitting on your mat. You're gonna Put your hands underneath your knees. So you've got a bend in your knees right now. And you're gonna lean back enough so you can lift those feet up. Can you tell why this is called boat pose? We kind of look like a sailboat, right? So you can stay here. Maybe you can let your arms go. Maybe you can let your legs go. Oh, my belly is shaking, but here I am. I'm making some good abs here in this boat pose. Keep breathing. All right, set your feet down. Give your boat a little break so you can lean over your legs, let your head hang down. Come back to your breath. Very nice. Can we do one more boat pose? Do you have it in there? And you, are you ready to go? All right, put your hands underneath your knees. Lift those legs up. Maybe your arms and your legs come out or maybe you just keep your hands on your legs. That's okay too. All right, give your boat a break. That boat is tired. Set your legs down, drape over. Give yourself a little break here. You deserve it. Okay, are you ready to go swimming? I have a couple different ways that we're gonna go swimming. So come down to your bellies. And we're gonna come all the way down to our bellies here. All right, so we are gonna go swimming. This is called locust pose in yoga, but with our arms out in front of us. I also call this super girl style, like we're a super girl, and we're gonna lift up our legs and our arms and we're gonna go swimming. Move those arms and legs if you can. Go, 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 we gotta get back to shore. All right, along the way, Let's give ourselves a little break. You're gonna put your, give yourself a little pillow and then put your cheek on that pillow. Oh man, that swimming was hard work. All right, guess what? We need to go swimming again, are you ready? Put those arms out, Supergirl style, get moving. All right. Now, while we're swimming, guess who we see? We're gonna see a dolphin. So you're gonna bring your arms back behind. Can you make your best dolphin pose? You're lifting your legs up. Your arms are coming down toward your legs. Dolphin pose. All right, very nice. That was a cool dolphin. Let's come down, bring your other cheek onto your hand pillow.
Okay, here we go. We're gonna bring our hands to our shoulder, underneath our shoulders. Let's go to table pose and then to downward facing dog. Yeah, there's a dog at the beach. <laughs> all right, let's step forward in between our hands. We're gonna stand all the way up, sweep your arms overhead. And then bring your hands back to heart center. All right, we're gonna test something out here. This is something new for us. So I don't know, Annie, are you able to unmute yourself or maybe I can find you to unmute you? I can unmute myself. All right, awesome. So my good friend Annie, she is watching the chat box right now. And I'm gonna give you about 30 seconds. Is there something else you wanna do at our beach? We went on a boat, we saw a dolphin, we did some swimming, we did surfing, we put on our suntan lotion, and we drank some lemonade. What else do you wanna do at the beach? If you have an idea, you can type it in the chat box. Annie's gonna pick her favorite three. So take a couple of minutes, work on that. Oh my goodness, they're so fast, Ashley. <laughs> That's All right. Okay. I'll give you some time. Why don't you take a minute to pick the best ones, Annie, the ones you know right. do in yoga. I'm gonna I mean, I already- water While you do that, okay? Yes, I know my favorite already, but I'll wait and tell you until you come back. <laughs> Ooh always good to hydrate and yoga when you're doing some kind of exercise. All right, Annie, what you got for me? Tell me your favorite one to start with. My favorite one, because I'm a little bit hungry now, is to eat ice cream. Ooh, ice cream pose. All right, let's make an ice cream pose. I've never done ice cream pose, but let's do it. Let's make it up. Come on, I'm going to come back to my yoga mat. You know what? We're going to turn tree pose into ice cream pose today. So if you are not at your mat, come on back to your mat or your towel or wherever you're standing. We're going to turn tree pose into ice cream pose. So everyone find one foot that you can balance on. You're going to turn your other knee out to the side and put your foot on the inside of your leg so that you're balancing on one foot. Now, how do we turn this into ice cream pose? I think that we should bring our arms overhead like an ice cream on top of a cone. Can you keep your balance without falling over? If you do, that's okay, just come on back. All right, great. We've eaten all that ice cream, so let those arms go. We gotta do the other side in tree pose. When you do a balance pose, you have to do both sides. So pick your other leg, whatever one you haven't done yet. Turn your other knee out to the side. And then when you're ready, make your big ice cream overhead. Do you want a challenge here in ice cream pose? Can you close your eyes? Oh, very wobbly in my ice cream pose with eyes closed. All right, you've eaten all that ice cream, let that go. Okay, very nice, let's come back to our chat box. Annie, you got two more for me? Yeah, a lot of people are saying mermaids. Oh, do you guys know mermaid pose? I'll show you mermaid pose. That's a good one. So while we were swimming, we found a mermaid. So let's come back to our mat. And mermaid pose is like this. So you're going to bring your knees, one knee, and then your foot's going to connect to your other knee. All right, so here we go. We've got our mermaid tail. Your hand's going to come down. Are you ready for the mermaid to go swimming? You bring your other arm up and you're going to stand on your knees. Look at this. I've got my knees touching the floor, my feet touching the floor, and I've got one arm overhead. One hand's helping me stay up to mermaid pose. Very nice. Just like we did with our tree pose, if you've got one side, you gotta do the other one. So switch your legs around, bend one knee, put your foot on the other knee with that one bent. Right now my right knee is here, so I'm gonna put my right hand down and then sweep my left arm up. Let's let that mermaid go swimming. Awesome. All right, nice mermaids. Annie, you got one more for us? Yeah, lots of people are talking about different sports and the most popular one is volleyball. You got anything like that? Hmm. <laughs> volleyball pose. You know what? Let's make these into some shoulder rolls. So we're gonna act like we're bumping the ball, but we gotta add some shoulder rolls to it. So if you're not already standing up, stand up here. We'll bring our arms together as if we're gonna 
bump that ball, right? Or the volleyball's coming to us, we're gonna bump it. But here we're gonna bump the ball and then turn our arms into some big shoulder rolls. Do that again, bring your hands together, bump that volleyball, and then sweep your arms overhead. One more time. Hands together, bump that volleyball, and then sweep your arms overhead for a big circle. And because we did our circles forward, can we go the other way? Sweep your arms back around and then bring your hands together to get that volleyball. Two more times, sweep them back, bring your arms together. One more time, sweep those arms around, connect them here. Very good. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick time check. Amy, I think we have time for one more. You got any good ones for us? Well, I got a good one that might lead you into Savasana and it's tanning. Lots of people are saying that that is what they like to do at the beach. Awesome, let's do it. You're exactly right, Annie. So we're all gonna come to our backs, lying on our backs. And you know what, I'm gonna stay seated, but you're gonna come to lying on your back. I still want you to be able to hear me. So if I lay down, you might not be able to hear me anymore. So I'm gonna come to seated, but you are gonna come to lying on your backs. So you can decide if you wanna go tanning, because um, we did put suntan lotion on, so you can be out for a couple of minutes. But if you wanna be under an umbrella, you can decide that. So come to lying on your backs. You're gonna let your legs be long. You let your arms be long down by your sides. And then close your eyes. Notice how you're breathing. Are you able to take some deep breaths like we did at the start of class? Now imagine here, maybe you're under an umbrella. If I was at the beach, I'd be under, under an umbrella because I burn too easily. But I love to lay under an umbrella, but maybe you're out in the sun. If you are out in the sun while you are at the beach, what does the sun feel like on your skin? Can you feel the warmth of the sun? Can you feel it even though your eyes are closed? Can you feel the sun on your eyelids? Can you see how bright it is? Let's keep checking in with our senses. So what smells do you, what smells can you take in now that you're at the beach? Can you smell the salts? Can you smell the cotton candy guy walking by and bringing some cotton candy by or maybe some popcorn? You know, my favorite. What else can you smell while you are at the beach? We tasted some very tasty things today, lemonade and ice cream. What else might you taste right now while you are at the beach? You're gonna make that picture in your head while you're lying here on your back, taking a, some nice deep breaths. Is there anything you wanna taste? Maybe you can taste the salts in the air if you're at the ocean. And then what do you feel? We said that we could feel the sun can you feel the sand, the grittiness of that sand? Maybe the towel that you're lying on while you're at the beach. What do you feel while you are lying there at the beach? Now, what do you hear? Can you hear the waves? Can you hear people talking? Can you hear those dolphins that we saw earlier today? What do you hear? So take a few more breaths, imagining that you're at the beach today. You're not stuck inside Chile, Illinois, or Indiana. You're at the beach. What does that feel like and smell like and taste like? What do you hear? And 
when you're ready, let's do something called a good morning stretch. You're gonna bring your fingertips back behind your head and your toe tips in an opposite direction. It's called a good morning stretch. Put your toes and your fingers are in opposite direction, just like you might do when you first wake up in the morning. Very nice, you're gonna roll over to one side and then use your hand to help push you up to a seat. You can decide what that seat looks like for you, but we'll bring our hands back to prayer style position. Close your eyes. Take a big breath in through your nose. And then we're gonna let it out through our mouth. Maybe you could hear me sign. Can you do that too? Let's do it two more times. In through your nose. Sigh it out through your mouth. One more time. In through your nose out through your mouth. Very nice. You can open up your eyes here. At the end of every yoga class, we say something that says that um, the word is namaste. So at the end of the yoga class, your teacher will say to you namaste. Do a little bow forward. And your job is to say the same thing to me and give me a little bow forward. So let's practice it. Ready? Namaste. Thank you so much to my Girl Scout yogis and my Buddha Valley yogis for joining me today. I hope that you had a good time. I hope that you feel relaxed. Um, and keep checking out our Girl Scout page and our Buddha Belly page for more times that you can join us for some Girl Scout activities. Um, as a reminder, if you are a Girl Scout junior, you could be working on your staying fit badge. So this is requirement number three, and um, there is a link to be able um, to purchase that on, on our website. If you are finished all those requirements and you want to get that badge, um, hopefully you can grab onto that or work on those requirements. Those are all pretty easy re requirements that you can do from home. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.